Facebook.com with our re reoccurring guest, Marie. Um, she is going to be working out with us today. So this is going to be a full body workout that is fit for all levels. But Marie still is working her way up from beginner level, but she's gaining a lot of strength. So, let's get started with the workout today. For the first exercise, we're doing lateral jump squats. We want to get your metabolism rubbed right from the beginning of the workout. So, clasp your hands together and put them behind your head. You're going to go into a full squat position. Thighs come parallel to the ground. Knees are behind your toes. Back is lifted. And you're going to jump up, land in the same position. Jump, land. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, the next exercise, we're going to do heel pushes. So you're going to stand on your left foot, bring your right foot up so your knee is up, and you're going to flex your foot and drive your knee toward the ground. Now the goal in this is not just to move like this, because you'll feel it, but not very much. You're going to push, squeezing your butt. Push, squeezing your butt. And you should really feel the muscle at the bottom of your butt working during this exercise. <laughs> Okay, we're doing the left leg now, so again, push. Really push, like you have to climb up a mountain or something. So you're really working that leg. You can hear Marie's baby, he's watching us work out right now. Next we're gonna do a crossing leg reach, so we're gonna start by moving our right foot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay on your back, arms straight out at your sides, feet planted firmly on the floor, Lift your butt, squeezing it nice and tight. You're going to stick that right leg out, bring it up, cross it over, and then keeping it bent, you're going to bring it out to the side. And cross, and out, cross. Try and keep your hips still through the movement. You don't want to be turning like this. You want to be having nice still hips, so you're really working all of the target muscles. We're doing the same thing on the left side now. So again, keep your hips as still as you can, Really working those target muscles. Next we're going to do lunge kicks. So we're going to start by kicking our right foot. So step backward into your lunge position. Both legs are bent at 90 degree angles. You're going to come up, kick, straight back into it. Kick, back. And your knee should always be directly above your ankle. Good so, job. It's tough to keep your balance, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's how you add your core work in. Okay, next we're doing the left leg. So again, step back into your lunge position. And kick. Sorry. That's okay. Lost it happens. Balance. It happens to me all the time. Also, you usually have one side that you have more balance on than the other. This side is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you do it. Exactly. Whoa. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. You're doing Horrible great. balance. You are doing really nice. Great, perfect form on your legs. Next, we're going to do down dog leg lifts. So you're going to lay on your stomach. Put your hands below your shoulders. Push yourself to the plank position. Stick your butt up in the air, flattening out your back. And then bring your heels toward the ground. And then we're going to start with our right leg. So lift your right leg and you're going to touch it down, lift. We're doing the left leg now. Okay, next we're doing zombie sit ups. And I'm going to have the baby as my weight because he is so cute. So what you're going to do, and I'm going to go slower than Marie's going to do because I have a baby in my hands, but you're going to reach your arms to the right, cross, 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 and then cross your way back down. Really working your abs the entire time. And back up. Hi, honey. What did you, you call these ones? Zombie sit-ups. <laughs> <laughs> or in my case, baby sit-ups. Hi, buddy. Okay, so we, next we have another ab exercise, and I'm still going to have baby Liam as my little cute weight. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift your shoulder blades off the ground. Um, you're going to keep your low back directly on the floor. Legs are going to go up in the air, and you're going to open, close. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Open, <laughs> close, 
open, reach through, open, close, open, close, reach through, open. I'm oh. sorry. And the baby's enjoying this because he's getting plenty of attention and I can still get in a workout. Or Marie can because she gets to bring this little cutie home. We'll uh, make a mommy and me workout video soon. <clears throat> yes. Okay, baby. Through. <laughs> Through. Through. <laughs> Is he watching you? He's looking at okay, the Okay, before we move on to the mountain climbers, let me add a disclaimer. Do not hold up your baby like that for a workout if they're not strong enough to hold up their heads. You don't ever want their head to be wobbling all around. No. Okay? No. So, only if your baby is old enough, then you can enjoy a light, gentle workout with them. We're not shaking the baby at all. And you are strong enough, and yeah. not on any pills, or sedatives, or drunk, or beyond. Yes. yes. <laughs> all important things to not be. Well, you're, you want to make sure that you have the strength to hold your baby Baby's protection is number one priority in all situations. Sadly, we have to say that. Okay, so the next exercise is mountain climbers. So you're going to put both hands on the ground under your shoulders. You're going to come up into a plank position just like you would in a push-up. You're going to bring your right knee to your chest and then you're going to switch. And sometimes it's best to not use a mat because it can get caught up in your feet. Like it did me. Yeah, so just make sure you really lift your feet if you're using a mat and go for the entire time. Okay, make sure doing half moon pose. So the unmodified version of this is to stand on one foot and you're going to slowly reach down to the floor, keeping your hips open and facing forward and looking up at your thumb. Then you're going to rotate to the other side, almost in a cartwheel type motion, but you're not going quite that far. <laughs> <clears throat> and then if you want to use chairs for the modification, so you don't have to bend as far, it's just a little bit easier on your balance. You're going to reach, let your fingertips touch the chair, and look up at your thumb. And then reach, and this is really nice because it really helps you to have great form and keep your hips facing front. Okay, okay last exercise is high knees, Marie's Yay. favorite. <laughs> so drive your knees up toward your chest and keep your body moving the entire time. Arms should be pumping. You really want to have your blood flowing while you do this exercise. Okay, thank you so much for joining us for today's workout. Sincerely, Melissa, Marie, and Liam. Um, check the website for the workout breakdown, www.fitnessvendor.com. We will continue to bring you new workouts every day, including some beginner level workouts for people like Marie who just had a baby or just getting back into working out. Whatever your reasons may be, there are workouts for all levels from beginner to advanced, so check the website, www.